Hello, it's Rob again with Quad Logic. Um, today we are working on a seat cover replacement. Uh, we do a lot of replacement seat covers, and the question comes up all the time as to how do I replace my seat cover with the brand new one. So this video, we're going to show you how to do that. This is off a Sportsman 570. It's getting a little rough, a little torn up on the edges. Um, it's got a lot of wear on it. So we're gonna remove this one and show you how to install our Quad Logic seat cover. All right, so the first step is to remove the old seat cover. Uh, when you flip it over, you'll notice it's stapled all the way around. So we just need to remove all the staples on the cover and get it removed. So we use a small flathead screwdriver and a pair of pliers and you just start prying at least one side of the staple up and then we'll come back and get the other, pull it out with the pliers. It's a slow, tedious process, but not hard. All right. Last section. Okay, so we got basically all the staples out. You just want to go around and look for any stragglers that you might have missed. Otherwise, we're just going to Pull this cover right off of here. Okay. Our foam's in pretty good condition, um, but if your cover's been ripped for a while, it might be wet or waterlogged, so you're gonna wanna let that dry out, take the foam off, let it sit in the sun, dry out, and then run along here and find any staples that are still half sticking in here and pull those out so you don't poke yourself. There's one over here. And in the meantime, while you're doing this, I'd lay your new seat cover out in the sun. Just let it get nice and warm. Helps remove some of the wrinkles from shipping and then just makes it a little more pliable for when we're gonna stretch it over the cover. To install. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about our Quad Logic seat covers. These are fully stitched to the style of each individual seat, so you're not getting just a big square sheet of vinyl that you're expected to make fit. It is custom sewn for each style of seat. Um, seams are really nicely sewn, they're waterproof, you're not gonna have to worry about anything there. The material, it's a, it's a higher grade material that we use and it's a four-way stretch, so it means it'll stretch this way and it'll stretch this way. Not only is that more comfortable when you're riding, but it makes it easier to install because you can pull it in different directions. Um, it is a very low temperature vinyl, so it's good down to like negative 25 or so below zero. Uh, here in Minnesota, that's very important, so it's not gonna crack when it gets really cold. We will show you how to install it. First step is get it orientated properly on the seat. You should be able to figure out just by looking at it which way is the front and which way is the back. Um, like these pieces are gonna hook over the front edge. And sometimes it looks like there's not enough material, but there will be once you get to stretching it. You're gonna end up stretching this around the back just to make sure it's the right shape, which it is. Um, key here is to get a buddy because it really helps to have two hands, one to hold and stretch, and the other person to staple. Now for stapling, we use a pneumatic gun. Um, you can use an electric one. I mean, I've done a lot of these with the old hand riveter. They work just fine, just take a little longer, but we'll show you how to do it here. Once you got it in place, flip it over. Usually start at the front, and to get the corners started, you're just gonna put a few two, three, four staples in each corner. We're gonna get everything set before we really start stapling it all down. Because a lot of times you have to unstaple, reposition to get a wrinkle out, and then restaple it. Speaking of staples, use a quarter inch long staple. If you go any longer than quarter inch, a lot of times they're gonna poke through and you'll, you'll feel them. You want to line up the seam with the edge of the seat. This corner, seam right on the edge. Okay. 
don't worry if they don't go in perfect right away because we'll be coming back around and, and getting those later. Next step is you want to pull it and make sure it's even on both sides. This is where another guy comes in. Very helpful, but I'm going to try and get this one done myself here. Put a few staples in here. Pull this side tight. All right, now at this point, we just want to take a look at it. Starting to come along. You want to make sure you're even. It's probably the biggest thing. So you're putting it on straight. Some of these little seams will just come out in the sun. Won't be too worried about those. But we we want to get these wrinkles out of here. So you got to look at which way you need to pull the material to get those out. And I think we need to pull tighter along here and maybe this direction a little bit. I'm gonna pull these both a little tighter. This one a little tighter. In place. Those wrinkles will come out. So let's get this back in. Now don't be afraid to undo a section. If it causes a big wrinkle, undo it, re-pull it a little slightly different direction and staple it back in. It's going to take, if you haven't done one before, a few times of trial and error before you get the wrinkles out. Now I stretch and staple. Once you get pretty much all the wrinkles out, then it's just time to start stapling it everywhere. Now we staple all the way around, staples right next to each other, just like when the one you took off. Can't have too many staples. All right, now that we've finished stapling it, we're going to trim off the excess here. Just go maybe a half inch or so above the highest staple. And voila, we're nice new seat cover.